It is the fourth dam removal on the ski spawning tributary with good habitat and, and cold, clean water in three years. So we're really trying to accelerate the pace of restoration, the pace of improving the resiliency of uh, the Rogue Basin uh, through these uh, kind of removals. These dams are no longer in use, so they just stand as impediments uh, to this, to these, uh, both the upstream and downstream migratory pathway for these fish uh, as, they're, as they're migrating in and out from the ocean. Removing a dam that has been a constraint for water quality, for sediment transport, for fish passage, for woody material, it's really degraded so many of the natural stream functions that by taking it out, we're just allowing it to go free. Moving a dam is, is pretty straightforward. There's some things that you need to do to mitigate sediment and turbidity and, and uh, salvage fish so we're not damaging any aquatic species. But after we remove the dam and then there's these log structures or any kind of you know structure placement was kind of a collaborative effort with the with the project manager and the engineer. And Because the reservoir had been, you know, flat water, just a big pool for so long that it lost a lot of the habitat complexity that's really important for our native salmonids and otters, which we just saw on site a bit ago. Um, so by adding the large wood, we're starting to encourage some of the retention of the finer sediments that can be really important for spawning and rearing habitat. This type of restoration project is honestly my favorite type where you can do a really relatively small disturbance by taking out the human imposed constraint that was the dam and really letting the natural systems and natural processes recover. Uh, it's really extraordinary and quite satisfying how quickly uh, not only the creek rest restores itself uh, with our help, but also the fish respond. Yesterday when we put in the three logs upstream, within five, 10 minutes, we had almost 50 fish up and under the pool, kind of exploring under the wood, checking out what we've done. You know, we made a new addition to their homes. We have control over addressing these obsolete barriers. We don't have control over ocean conditions, but we do have control over how we treat our rivers. Uh, and this is, a, this is a key effort in improving uh, the condition of our rivers. You know, after we implement these projects, take these dams out, in really short time, uh, the stream has a way of healing itself, uh, repairing itself. It's able to move uh, freely. I'm very biased towards rivers being rivers and being wild and free to do what they need to do. So when you go back in six months or a year, after the winter flows have come through and the, and the spring flows have, have washed through because this is such a high energy system, uh, because it's such a resilient system, um, you really won't be able to tell that a dam was there. You'll just see um, a pretty stretch of creek uh, and uh, hopefully um, some spawning habitat uh, right there.